All right, get ready everyone. The Port City Comedy Jam is back bigger than ever and it's this weekend. The inaugural event was such a huge success that this return engagement promises to be even bigger. Right now, I have the creator and producer of the event, Karen Tunis, and the one and only Orlando Jones. They're gonna talk to us about it. Hello guys, how are y'all doing? We're great. Good, good, how are you? <laughs> Orlando, Helen and I were just talking about that time you made us rappel down the blockade runner. Do you remember that at all? <laughs> what? How was it? Made you, I forced you. Oh my gosh, scariest <laughs> moments of our lives. Oh. <laughs> Let's More talk about, uh, yeah, well, it was something. It was a once in a lifetime. I promise you that. <laughs> Let's talk about this weekend. You've got a big event coming up. Karen, I want to start with you. The first time you did this, it was huge. Oh Tell me gosh. about how things are going to be bigger this time. <laughs> Listen, oh my gosh, Randy. Listen, we sold out uh, both shows and I could not make the line leave. It stayed around the building. It never left. <laughs> it did not leave. They That's, just hung out outside. Uh, that, it was insane. Insane. It That's insane. a good problem to have, and but this time you're going <laughs> to introducing like a fair part of this, like vendors and stuff, right? I am because it was so popular last time on Friday, which is tomorrow, and Saturday at 10 a.m. We start off with the vendor fair, and that fair goes all day long. It's all kind of local artists, uh, uh, retailers, food, you name it, it will be in that parking lot, just humming along until the show starts. That's We're one of the excited. things I love about you both is that you support people locally. And just so everybody's clear, this is in downtown Wilmington, kind of near the base of the Cape for Memorial Bridge. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Well, um, Front Street, you know, the historical grocery store, only yeah. black owned grocery store. Front Street Produce and Market, Atiba Johnson. And we are so excited about that, man. We love it. Uh, it's our little, our little bodega. I'm going to age myself. We used to get grape knee highs there. Remember those? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> Orlando. Uh, exactly. Randy, back up. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I do not know what he's talking about. I don't know. <laughs> Orlando, I'm going to put you on the spot right now. I saw your clip from last time. You are not Samuel Jackson, but you are the host of this event. <laughs> Samuel Jackson. <laughs> I said the, the clip was snakes on oh, the plane. Oh, that's hilarious. That's hilarious. <laughs> so, you know, so what can we expect? Fun. What? Go ahead. I said, you know, it's always fun it, to, to sort of get out into the community, particularly since everybody's been so cooped up for so long <laughs> due to COVID and just, you know, get a chance to laugh and eat and shop and kind of, uh, you know, commune, hang out, do what, do what people do in a community. So uh, I'm That's not Samuel does. Jackson, but uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely looking to have some fun. And we got a great lineup of comedians, guys that are driving in from different places. So it's a fun show. Tell us about what people can expect this time. Tell, me, tell us about some of the comedians that are coming. Oh my gosh, I have, uh, I have some new comedians coming in. I have Robert Bellamy, who is a local comedian. He is just funny around town and we always think he's hilarious. He's coming into town to do this. We have Trey Thompson. She is a female comedian, I love it, of color. She's coming into town to do this. So we're so excited to have her here. And you know what's really cool is what I've started to do is the open mic comedians, Randy, mm -hmm. they get to hit line. So one of my last comedians, mm -hmm. Travis Stewart, who absolutely killed it. He's super headlining. Funny. He's super funny, right? Yeah, wow. He, he's, he's a firefighter. And I just want to, real quick, before we run out of time, I, I want to make sure that we address this because this is something that broke everybody's heart. Y'all are going to be talking about Paul Mooney. Real quickly, how are y'all going to reference him and honor him this weekend? You know, Paul was, a, was a, a real mentor and a friend and was really incredibly kind to me. So I think in dedicating the shows to him, it's to talk about what Paul talked about, which was how we as a community talk about our differences, laugh at our differences, and find ways to move forward together. So we think that's kind of what doing shows at Port City Market is about, supporting that community, bringing together other community members, and hopefully uh, creating an atmosphere of fun and joy um, in a world that seems like it could use more of that. Yeah, we are certainly at that time. And we're also at the end of our time. Thank you both so much for talking with me. Y'all have fun this weekend. Thanks, Randy. Come and see us. Frosty I will. <laughs> I will. Don't forget, it is the Port City Comedy Jam. It is happening tomorrow and Saturday, hosted by Orlando Jones. Doors open at 7.15, shows start at 8. It's at Front Street Market and Produce at 604 South Front Street. That's near the base of the Cape Memorial Bridge. Find out more information about how to get tickets by visiting Port City Comedy Jam on Facebook. We'll be back in a moment.